the gas show and we're still here in Dallas. Before we stopped at Boost District, we're actually making a pit stop here with Big Boys Customs. Now, we dropped off this car the other day. It's the Young Dolph car. I've been seeing the comments, where's the Young Dolph car? Well, it's actually here in Dallas. Oh, not Dallas, Fort Worth. Big Boys Customs, we are getting a set of brand new wheels in the back. Well, not just in the back, all the way around. So we currently have some Savinis who were converting into Forgiatos. We ended up choosing a badass little style and he was gonna power coat the wheels black. It had a satin finish and the pot and the chrome lip, but I wanted the wheels black. So I think the wheels are ready and we are bringing the tires because we have the tires at the shop. So we got the 405, 405, 25, 24 Pirellis. These tires are, are really, really hard to, to get. So this is the tire that we currently had on this car before. But since wide body and the car is kind of low, you can't really see how big, how wide this tire is. And it's a, it's a wide motherfucker. I think it's wider than tiny, right? See? Pretty wide. Yeah, so we're dropping off the tires and uh, let's go say what's up to my boy Evan, Red. Got the tires for the, for the, for the wheels, yeah. You got the wheels here? Of course. Check them out. This is the front right here. The big, big motherfucker right here. What is this, 26? 28. All right, guys, this is the front wheel that we're using. So remember, we had the beanies and now we got Forgiatos. So uh, I think this is pretty pretty badass little rim style. You like it, Perrillo? I like wheels that are kind of opened up. You know what I'm saying? You can see the, the, the caliber and stuff like that. Now, you can clean them. And you can clean them easier too. And I made it so easy for Perrillo. You don't have to polish anything. And that's it. So they're gonna get the rear wheels so we can check them out. And then we're literally just gonna drop off the wheels and tires and we'll probably pick it up later. Hell yeah. Now this is a way better looking wheel than the one we had before. All right, so. 24 by 14, 15, 15. What size of lid do we have right now? Is it the same? Is it, is it, you already tried this one out, right? Yes. And if it's just flush. Just the way you told me to. Okay. 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 Perfect. Probably here in the next couple of days, so should be ready to roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get them sealed up probably by the end of today. By the end of the day today. And I'll be able to put the tires on tomorrow. Okay, okay. But well, we might have another trip because we still got to bring another truck for, I got Andres' truck over there in Houston okay, okay. with their little burnout package on it so we can do burnouts and it doesn't overheat. So we're going to bring that truck back probably the next week and then we can pick up the car. That's fine. You know yeah, that'd be great. Way before yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. It's a badass wheel. It's going to look badass when, once we put the tires. Dropping off the tires, you know, visiting our boys here at Big Boys Customs. They're gonna seal up the wheels, put the tires on, and then they're gonna line the car from the rear because whenever we had the other wheels, the other tires, it had a nice little camber and there was eating up the tires. They're gonna fix that. Hopefully by next week the car is done, we can come over here, pick up the car, and then we are bringing back the Young Dolph truck. We should have brought it, but we're using it for a promotion video tomorrow. So that's why we didn't bring it. So right now we're gonna go get some food and go to pizza. Finally made it here to Boost District. What's up, buddy? 
Chris. How you been? Good, good, good. What's up, G? This is Chris. What's up, We're living it up. Last time we were, last time you were here, we were filming with a phone. Yeah. yeah now we got, we got a guy. Moving on up, yeah, huh? Yeah. What's up? Welcome back, welcome back. You got a lot of work, huh? Trying to, trying to. A lot of Corvettes and all, all C8s. Yes, sir. Yeah, every single lift has a C8 in it. Oh, so. yeah, it wasn't this pack last time. No. Nice. Thank God. We got everything. We got a, the brand new E-Ray over here. We just got one. There's the all-wheel drive C8, the electric front motor. We're doing a thousand horsepower twin turbo package on it right here. Okay. That's yeah, gonna be pretty nasty. All-wheel drive? All-wheel drive. Oh shit. Yep, all-wheel drive. Yep. Electric front motors with a battery in the middle, and then the back is a V8 6.2. I didn't even know that existed. Oh yeah, it's new. This only has 500 miles on it. Oh. Okay. So you're doing a what? Um, 1,000 horsepower twin turbo. Yeah, this guy right here. Oh, it's a prototype shit. unit. It's gonna be the first one we've done. It's world's first twin turbo C8. Okay. Uh, that is all-wheel drive. All-wheel so. drive. Yeah. So this is gonna haul ass. Oh yeah. Cause it's all-wheel drive. Yeah. And it hooks and it goes. Yeah. Hooks and books. Y'all building all this stuff? Yeah. Yep. Right. yep. We're putting it together right now. It needs to be in the track tomorrow, and this is what we got. So we're hustling. Ah, hustling. So. Man, y'all got some, uh, y'all got some balls to get a brand new car and take it apart like That's this. That's the job. That's my job. That's a lot of like that car outside, the the gray one is my very first super first C8 ever. Okay. And, you know, we're doing the same thing over here. We're doing the very first twin turbo, twin turbo. E Ray Corvette. So, nice. yeah, it's pretty cool. Transmission, all that stays. It holds right. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, yeah, we put a clutch in it and and the axles and stuff like that. We make we make sure it's all safe. Um, we specialize on this stuff, so you know. Yeah, yeah. We've done hundreds of them. Yeah, it's nice. It's yeah, gonna sound you. badass. Yeah, not anyways, let's look at your truck. I know you miss your baby. Let's talk about the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we dropped off this truck a couple a few months ago. And everybody knows it. They used to call this the Turbo Sierra. Okay. So we still call it the Turbo Sierra, but it's not turbo anymore. Now we got a the supercharged Sierra. Now we're gonna call it the supercharger yeah. Sierra. So we dropped it out here with my boys at Boost District and we ended up doing a 2650. Yep. And that's the supercharger that you offer for these LT1s. Yeah, uh, yeah, L86, LT1, yeah, six twos, five twos. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. you only offer one supercharger, which is a 2650. Yes, that's correct. You don't offer the LSI because it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't We're work. We're making a conversion kit so people have a cheaper option when okay. they want LT. Okay, okay, um, okay. So, you know, if you have an LSA supercharger that you want to put in an LT, we're making it. We're making it happen. Okay. Uh, but it's not available yet. We've been working on it though. Yeah, because the yeah. 2650, it's a, it's a bigger supercharger yeah. than the regular yeah. LSA. Now, if you turn it up, you can blow the motor, right? Uh, yeah. On the 2650. Yeah, yeah. The LSA is a little bit more uh, friendly. Forgiving, yeah. Friendly I mean, for the stock mess, motors. It makes less power. It know? makes less power, yeah. yeah. So the LSA is a little bit more friendly for these stock motors. This one, obviously, it's not built. It's still stock 5.3. Yeah. I mean, it does have a, a nice little cam yeah. and everything. And now my boy here at Bush District, they added a badass supercharger. And I've seen pictures, and it looks cool, but it looks cooler in person, oh, yeah, right? Oh, for sure. Let's, Let's see it. it Yeah, yeah, good. Everything that, has to look good. Yeah, that on the gas special yeah. with the red and everything, yeah. and it matches the truck. Yeah. You said how much horsepower it made? It's made 655 on to the wheels on the 85. That's that's really and good then numbers. 575 on 93. On 93. And you said you only wanted 550. Yeah, I, I couldn't just give you 550. No, 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 no. I think 550 is enough to do yeah. burnouts. Yeah. Uh, but 650 obviously is gonna feel a lot bit better. Yeah. But yeah, it looks really nice. He went above and beyond and painted this red. He didn't have to do that because this comes in black, right? Yeah, it comes in black. And then of course the piping. This was new, right? Yes. Because we didn't have none yeah. of this. We brought the truck literally just the motor itself. It, it didn't there. have an intake. Yeah. There was a bunch of pieces that were missing, of yep. course. This truck was taken apart probably like a year ago and we never touched it. And when I brought it over here, I just picked up. He and the... I had to push it. No yeah. More. Yeah. And another guy. No Stug. more. That was yeah. Stug's, Stug's not here no more. Yeah. So we got just a regular 2650 LT supercharger and we kept the original uh, yeah, the, yeah. the original yeah, you don't need like to upgrade that. it for anything less than 750 okay. so you're good okay okay yeah, and we'll do burnouts with it to make sure you're so solid and you're not gonna have a problem yeah yeah I might have done a few already okay that's fine that's fine <laughs> you gotta test it you gotta yeah. make sure it works yep let's hear it okay let's hear this bad boy how does it sound because the video sounds good it sounds good it sounds real good <laughs> Perfect. That was good. It sounds way better like that. The turbo was cool and everything, but the supercharger is the instant power and it sounds way better.
you'll hear it more. Okay. On park, you, you can't really step okay, on it okay, too okay. much. Shit, here it is. It ain't a turbo Sierra no more. It's a supercharger Sierra. What's another term for a supercharger? Blower. Blow, blower. Blower Sierra. We're going to call this the blower Sierra. You can call it Boosted Sierra. Boosted Sierra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boosted, yeah. The Boosted. The Boost Sister Sierra. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there I'll you take go. that. Yeah, that's a badass. Hey. Badass. And then we got the sticker on the front, too. Right there. Now, this is a, obviously a 2017 newer model truck. It comes with an LT, but I brought another project. I like it. And this was in the list. Now on this one, we're not gonna do the 2650. We're okay. gonna do the other supercharger okay. that you got, which is the LSA. LSA. Okay. Yes. That's a budget friendly, but you know, good power. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Now, this is gonna be one of my personal burnout trucks. Okay. So we do need to add the pulley kit on this one. Okay. Cause we're gonna do, you yeah, know. hammer gonna, down. We're gonna rip it yeah. on this one. Yeah. This one does have pistons. It has a built motor. Okay. So it, it should hold a little bit more power. This one sounds really good. And this one, we're gonna do the, the LSA. This is nice. Uh, yeah, I, bought, right. I just bought it yesterday. You did? Yeah. That's how Jasper do? That's a little... I don't know what it has, but it, it, it runs pretty good. It has like 450 horsepower. It's 85 already. Well. Like it. like it. well, it's not a little clock. It's still fast. It's well, a 530. Yeah. 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 And it sounds pretty really good. It's just bad as burnout. I bought it yesterday. It's not burnout. So... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for you. Jeez. Say no more. I know what it is. It's that X link. Is it? Yeah. We're gonna take it off. Yeah, take that motherfucker off. Yep. We just gotta unplug it here. I did it yesterday and it and it did the same thing. That's and all right. I got it. We unplugged it. Yeah, it's this thing with the X link right here. Oh, There's a new version. That's what it is, huh? Yeah. Spots like this. I uh, usually see me right there in the shop, eh? I do it in the, <laughs> in the four corner stop. I like it. So, it, I mean, we can clearly see that it does burn out. Yeah. But it'll be better if we put a supercharger in it. I think we can get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It can sound a little bit better yeah. too, you know? And, you know, we just got to mess with the tune and everything. Put a two step, but it doesn't have a two step right now. Uh, so, once we, we do a two step, once we do a supercharger, we'll do a two step. We can hit the limiter and we'll have uh, a lot of problems with the truck. Now, the real question like is do you think that red truck can do donuts and slicks? I don't know. Not really. No. Okay. Have you tried it? It's, it's, the thing is, it's going to grab and it's going to want to go forward. Yeah. That's why I don't want to do them on the slicks. Oh, you don't have another set of tires, huh? I had it on that. Yeah, but I know no. it does burnouts on that one. No, yeah. It does. I mean, it's going to it's gonna do burnouts, yeah. but then it's going to get traction and yeah, it's going to yeah. want to go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, you got a perfect burnout in here in the back.
All right, guys, so for everybody asking themselves, what is an LSA supercharger? The difference between the 2650, of course, you've seen it on the Sierra, and the LSA is that this one holds a little bit less power. Yeah. Seven, 600 to 700? Yeah, this is good for about 650, 700. Okay, yeah. so once now that we put the lid, you've probably seen this already. You know what I'm saying? This lid right here, you can see that these come on the stock CTLs Vs and the Z01s and stuff like that. And this is the supercharger that we're going to be adding on this truck right here. And my boy is going to actually have it done for Bandas y Trocas, which is here coming up. Yep. A month and some change. Yep. A month and a half. Now, on this one, since it's a burnout truck, yep. we're going to be using a different system of pulleys. Yep. We're not going to be using the same stuff that yep. on the red one. What are we using for the pulleys? Uh, we're going to do a dedicated eight rib drive. Yep. Eight rib drive. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And so it just has more grip on the pulley. It doesn't fling out when you do a burnout. And that's what we don't want. The last thing they want to do is go in the burnout pit and be losing the belt yep. and then being, you know, looking like a fool out there. Yep. So my boy is going to actually make it reliable for us so we can get in the pit, you know, catch this thing on fire, hit somebody, hit a truck, <laughs> or do something crazy, pop the tires, blow the motor. No, I, I don't want to blow the motor. We're not going to blow the motor. We're not going to blow gonna the motor. Make sure it's solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So got you. Give, give me some nice fuel yeah. on the tune and everything. Yeah. And this is this is the LSA supercharger. So if you're looking to make 500 to 700 horsepower, this is the supercharger yeah. that you need to get. LSA supercharger. All you got to do is hit up my boy and uh, you can ship anywhere in the US, right? Anywhere. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in yeah. the world. Yeah, we ship to Saudi all the time too and okay. Mexico. Okay, yeah. so you just got to pay a little bit more for the shipping, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the supercharger that I recommend to you just because the 2650, you can actually turn it up a little bit more, but then if you don't have a built motor, well then pretty much gonna get to mess it up. Yeah. But this is the ideal supercharger and it's the number one selling yeah. for you, right? It's budget friendly and it makes a lot of power. It's efficient, No, you know, it's awesome. So it's actually cheaper than buying the 2650 yeah. and it makes five to 600. Yeah. If you put the supercharger, you could probably be Perrillo. Oh, you put no. in the spotlight. Yeah. Nah. He, this is a <laughs> this is nitrous guy. Nah. Oh, we got to beat. Yeah, he got a built motor and he's gonna spray like 300 shots. Oh, okay. So I always give him hell, you know, but I think we are gonna. Uh, you know, you need the other one. Which one? The 2650? Yeah. I'm gonna race him with this one. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna race with this oh, one. Okay. Make 650. He makes like 450 all motor. 550 all motor. 550 all motor? Oh shit. Fuck. We gotta can we turn it up a little bit more before you bring it home? No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll, we'll do something to it. We'll, we can spray nitrous on this one, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's or we can just add a little bit more boost. Nah, we're gonna put nitrous on it. Yeah, because he got a like a 300 300 okay. shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he, he's a nitrous guy, so I always give him hell. So he'll come. He'll come this way. Yeah, we'll do yeah, a couple yeah, more. He'll come yeah. this way. We like nitrous, but we like the yeah. we like the superchargers, and yeah. this is the number one selling supercharger. So I recommend this 100. percent We mm. will be adding this one to the white truck, and then we're gonna bring Takashi over here, and we're gonna get something special for Takashi, right? For sure. Yeah. It's not gonna be this one. I'll make it, it. I'll make it the Beto special. Yeah, yeah. Let's let, let me get a special supercharger. Yeah. So whenever somebody wants to have what I have, they call you and be like, "Let me get that." Yeah. You know that on the gas special. Yep. We can so. Make it LSA Supercharger guys, going in the Cheddar Bob. This is the Cheddar Bob. Have you seen the 8 Mile? Eight, no, not yet. You haven't seen the movie with Eminem? Uh-uh. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I guess you they have. It? Sorry. You Whoops. seen that guy that shot himself? <laughs> yeah. Cheddar Bob. The white boy that shot himself in the leg? Yeah. Well, I bought a truck from a guy, he shot himself in the leg. Yeah, that's what we call a truck, the Cheddar Bob. <laughs> yeah. Now this is his personal car. Yes, it is. And this one got the 2650. Yeah, it's a 2650 with the Lincoln Felter Magnuson uh, that we built here with our 850 package and 1,000 horsepower package. Uh -huh. And this has got 9.9. It's the world's fastest C8 supercharged Corvette right now. And it's gonna go back to the track tomorrow to go even faster. So you got the record. Yes. On this one. Yes. My boy here actually works on all the C8 vets. As you can see, it's the shop is full of cars. You got cars from New York. Yeah, New York, New Jersey, Virginia, Houston, Miami, all over yeah, the place, everywhere. So if you got a C8, you know, a lot of people don't work on the C8s. You know, you we don't specialize on them. You don't see them often. My guy here specializes on these cars. So if you got one of the C8s and you want to do some mods, make sure to hit them up. We're gonna put the Instagram right here down below. Also, my boy has a YouTube channel, which my guy's over there working hard on that. Yeah. Yep. So make sure to go follow him on YouTube. On Instagram, all the social medias, and like I said, if you got a C8 vet, you know a lot of people don't work on the C8 vets. But my guy here, he specializes in them. He's actually doing a twin turbo. He's doing a pro charger. Yep. And right now we're fixing to hear this uh, supercharger one. Yeah, let's hear it. You're gonna like the way this winds. Oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And then what you do, you, you open up a cutout or something? Yeah, it has a dual mode exhaust. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. These engines on the C8s, I don't really know much about these beds. Are they facing? They're facing that way. So, just, it's basically the same way as a regular car, just, but it's just pushed back. Push back. It's so, not turned around. So the pulley drive is on the front. Yes. Oh, it's okay, a pain okay. in the ass. That's oh. why we got to drop the motor. To you got to drive. You got to take the whole thing apart. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at it right. I see the pulley right there. Yep. Okay. This already come carbon like this? I, I, I got it. Oh, you got yeah, it? We put it on here too. Okay. Yeah, okay everything okay. that you see in this car, we sell it on Boost District. Okay. So not only do you make them fast, but you make them look good too as oh, well. Yeah. And we sell all the parts too. You know, it's all available on BoostDistrict.com. Now, if yeah. you think that you are a mechanic and if you think you can do this at home, you can also sell yes. to go. Yeah. There you go. All you got to do is hit them up and my boy will direct you the right way. Now, if you want it done the right way, we need to come over here. But if you think you're a mechanic, you think you're a badass, you can take it to go. Now, there's no warranty, right? There's warranty. There's warranty? Yeah, there's if warranty. If they fuck it up? Yeah, there's warranty. Okay, doesn't get better than that. You gotta pay for it, but there's warranty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice little car. Thank you. 990s? 990s. It's gonna go faster tomorrow. It's gonna go faster. How fast? Probably 60s. Yeah. Okay. So okay, okay. So you did you turn it up a little bit more? I just did some tweaks. Nobody else can really tune these the way we can. Uh -huh. We have different tuning solution. No piggyback stock computer, but we found some tables that we hack and manipulate, and it can go faster. Now you got the world's fastest yep. supercharged C8 Corvette, yep. and you're fixing to have the world's fastest all-wheel drive E8 Corvette. Yeah, 2024 twin turbo. Yeah, twin turbo. Man, I'm gonna buy all the vets here. You, you ain't gonna have no more vets for everybody else. Hey, we keep it here so you guys can copy it. Maybe, <laughs> you, maybe we get you another one here. There you go. I, I might need one of these vets. Yeah. I like Corvettes. These are pretty cool. My boy actually bought one when they just came out and I actually drove it to the store and it felt good. It's a different feel just because it's a vet and the engine's in the back. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? So it's kind of like an exotic. Now it's mid car engine, right? Yeah, mid engine. It's yep. not rear because it's, it's correct. The, yeah, the it's rear the is, is more like a Porsche. Correct. This is mid because it's literally right in the middle. Badass, badass little car. Shit, let's fix it and go faster tomorrow. And you can watch all that on your YouTube channel. Yeah. YouTube, Boost District. Yeah. Boost District and the social media, what is it? Boost um, District also. Yeah, go. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. If everything. you can't find it, just make sure to go to our Instagram and then we're gonna. Yeah, always tags us. yeah I'm gonna tag yeah. these guys, especially right now that we're fixing to take the red one. They're doing the white one. And then we're gonna bring Takashi over here and my boys are gonna do the Takashi. We need that one done for May 25th though. Bring is it, it possible? Now. You gotta bring it down. Okay. Now. I just need a I just need to do burnouts this weekend and then I can bring it to Alright. So is this gonna keep up with the rear? We'll find out. That's why we do this, right? To yeah. test it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to test it on customer cars. Yeah, no, no, you guys trying on your shit. Yeah. Man, these ones are fucking nice. Yeah. You're not going to change them? You're going to leave them like that? I kind of want to change them to something more aggressive, but carbon fiber. Okay. They came carbon with from the factory, so I want to keep it tough. Yeah, right? yeah. But they look baller. They I do. like them. They do. They look real nice. They look really, really yeah. nice. I might just slam it on this on the same wheels, you know, lower it. What size of wheel? Uh, 21? 21. They don't sell like a radio for 21 or 20s. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. 20s they do. They, but not 21. And it's 21s all the way around, yeah. right? Imagine. That is fucking yeah, great. but you can fit an 18 in the back. So I might get the same exact thing in carbon fiber, but it's 18s. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so it looks all matching. Yeah. Like it, uh, a B lock in the back. Yeah. Yep. E, e Ray. How much power do they make originally? Stock 490 crank. 440 wheel. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, so, oh, so these don't even come with supercharger. No, no, we do. We do it None here. of them. We make it look like it because every single car here has a supercharger. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So there's not like the other vets that come supercharged. Yeah. yeah, your Z06, you have a yellow Z06, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's supercharged from well, factory. Well, yeah, that one, that one has a supercharger now. Okay. But it had because I broke it already. Yeah. I broke it, blew the motor. It didn't last it too long. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I usually break stuff on the first day. We'll fix that. Yeah. Fix too, right? Yeah, custom made, all custom for this car. Because it's going to be quiet. See the, Just a little. You should be able to haul ass on this one. Uh, E85? Yeah. E85. And you said by when it's gonna be ready? Tomorrow. It has to be. The track is tomorrow night. We're bringing both cars out. Oh. So, you know, we pulled in, we were late. We, 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 what time did we leave yesterday? 10.30? 11.30. 30. Yeah, same thing two nights ago. So we've been busting our ass the whole week yeah. trying to get it ready. We build the motor in-house. We put the clutch here in-house. We do everything. I'm about to buy me a bit. You should. I'll sell you mine. Let me beat it up first and then You'll for sure not break it. How much power does that make? 880 wheel, thousand Eight, crank. A thousand to the crank. I need to make a thousand to the wheel. I can do that, easy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let me know when you're done with it. I'll buy that one. Okay. And it's great too, I like it. I like the gray color. 
The, the gray color? The, I like, it's, a, it's a gray, what color, right? Yeah, it's, it's a gray. Gray, yeah. bluish. Bluish gray. Like a charcoal gray? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice color. Yeah, because we partner up with the with Ford. Uh huh. I, I saw mean, your video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are badass trucks, man. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. That we got offered, you know, which is some which is some regular Mexican dudes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We, yeah. we ain't nothing special. Yeah. So. Uh, Same here, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. we, I started my business from one supercharger and 500 bucks in the back of my dad's t shirt shop. There you go. And then. Slowly at a time, you know, one became two, two became three, and, and then four. Go. Now we got two warehouses, a shop. I tell everybody, you gotta hustle. You gotta hustle. I tell everybody, everybody, anybody can do it. Cause I was, I was actually born in Mexico, yeah. and I went to school with them. Yeah. And I came over here, and I did all this, and I'm not even from here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everybody yeah. can do it. You just gotta yeah. consistency, hustle, yeah. no sleep. You know, gotta and, keep working. And, and gotta keep working. Settle. Yeah. Invest a lot of money, yeah. money, time, and all that yeah. stuff. But yeah, take that, man. Once, so once, once you're done we'll with make it. Make it happen, yeah. Who's, be... Whose black one is that? It's a customer from Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Yeah, same exact thing. So I build the cars, right? And then I show them off and they're like, I want the exact same one. The same, the same, same exact. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Same thing's gonna happen with this car too once we're done with it. With the uh, twin turbo? Yeah. Yeah, I already got two people calling, you know, hey, I want to do it today. How can you do it? Okay. So not even done yet. Not even done. No, yeah. the people already want it, no. Yeah. It's because they need to see it first. Yeah. And then they're like, okay. I want it. Yeah. I'm gonna take it to a show this weekend. Hell yeah. And uh, we're gonna show it off there. We're going to a Freddy LSX show. Okay. We're gonna show that one there. How long do you think you could get done before with the white one? I'll do my best to get it done. Okay. How, how quick do you need it? I mean. Before May 25th? Before or do you want? Tekashi. Uh, Tekashi. Yeah, I want Tekashi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that one has to be there for sure. Okay. Everybody knows that truck, so I need a, I need a show out on do that. You want me to work on that first? You can start on this one. Let me finish the burnout this weekend, because okay. I got one more show. And then I'm gonna put in the motor. Okay. And then I'll bring it to you with just a new motor and everything. Okay. So you, all you gotta do is just slap it in, slap the supercharger, and do the pulley kit okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. And that one's on a Harley system and everything. That's, that's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna see the truck. It's, it's a little beat up. I don't care. Yeah, it's beat up. We'll make it nice. Yeah. We made this nice. Oh yeah, yeah. We came here not running. Yeah, no, no, no. But the, this one was not too bad. Takashi yeah. is it's burnt. Yeah. It's been on wrecks. It was in, in Puerto Rico for a month yeah. next to the water. Uh, that truck literally just came back from yeah. Puerto Rico. Like we went over there, and that truck was missing for an hour. I missed the truck. God damn, where's my truck at? You know what I mean? I, I felt like it was gonna stay over there in Puerto Rico forever, but luckily it made it back. And it had some wiring issues, so they fixed that now. So right now we're gonna load up the red truck so we can head back to Houston. Let's go.